The values in the following table have a linear relationship. Find the equation that represents the relationship of the x and y values in the table. Express the equation in the format y equals mx plus b. So when you are given a function table and you have to figure out what equation represents the function of that table, the first thing that we can do is to figure out what is the change in y as compared to the corresponding changes in x. So let's take a look at the first y value, which is 8. It goes from 8 to 17, which is an increase of 9. Now we have to look at the corresponding change in the x values, which is a change in 1. Now let's look at the next change in y, which goes from 17 to 35. That is an increase of 18. And the corresponding increase of the x values is an increase of 2. And from 35 to 62, that is an increase of 27. And the increase from 4 to 7 for the x values is 3. And from 62 to 71, that is an increase of 9. And the increase from 7 to 8 is an increase of 1. Now, if you take a look at the first change in y as compared to the first change in x, we could express that as a ratio as 9 over 1. The m value should be expressed as the change in y over the change in x. And this symbol can be called delta, which stands for change. So the change in y as compared to the change in x is always going to equal your m value. So the first change in y compared to the first change in x would be 9 over 1. The second change was 18 over 2. But we should notice that 18 over 2 can be reduced to 9 over 1. And the same is true for 27 as compared to 3. 27 over 3 may also be simplified to 9 over 1. So we have already determined what the m value is in our equation. Once you have figured out what the m value is, what we have to do is substitute that variable with our change in y over the change in x, which is 9 over 1. And we can just write that as the number 9. And we have to write everything else in our equation. So we just bring down the variable y, the variable x, and the variable b. Now the last thing that we have to do is to really figure out what the b value is going to be. The x and the y values are going to change depending on what point you are specifically looking at. And you can choose any ordered pair from within this function table and plug it into the corresponding x and y values. So let's just take the first pair of numbers. We are going to substitute the variable y with the number 8. And we bring down our m value. And we multiply that by the corresponding x value, which is 1. And we bring down the variable b. Now we have enough information in our equation to determine what the b value is going to be. So on the next line here, we are going to simplify this up a bit. So we multiply 9 times 1, and that is 9. And now we have to isolate the b variable. And we do that by subtracting 9 from this side and sending it to the other side. And 8 take away 9 is equal to negative 1. And this cancels out. And we bring down the variable b. So we would say that the b value is equal to minus 1. Now we have to plug that into our original equation. And when writing things in y equals mx plus b format, you really just leave the y as a y and you leave the x as an x because those two values are going to change depending on what specific point you are looking at. But the m value is going to stay the same and that is 9 and the b value is negative 1. So we could write plus negative 1 here or simply write minus 1. So this is the equation 
that represents the relationship between the x and the y variables in our function table. And we can check that by just plugging in some of the x values and seeing if it comes up with the correct y value. So if we were to plug 2 into the equation, 9 times 2 is 18, and 18 minus 1 is in fact 17. If we did the same for the number 4, 4 times 9 is 36, and 36 minus 1 is in fact 35. Let's try another example. So once again, the first thing that we want to do is figure out what is the change in y as compared to the corresponding changes in x. So from 2 to 2.5, that is an increase in 0.5 or 0 0.5. From 2.5 to 3 is an increase of 0.5. And from 3 to 3.5 is another increase in 0.5. And from 3.5 to 4, that's another increase of 0.5. For the corresponding x values, we can see that each one of those increases by 1. So if we were to express the change in y over the change in x, which is our m value, we would say that m is equal to 0.5 divided by 1. And anything divided by 1 is itself, so we can simplify this a bit further to just 0.5. And as a fraction, that would be equal to 1 half. So now we already know what our m value is. So let's take the equation and substitute m with 1 half. And now we have to choose one ordered pair from our table and plug it into the x and the y value of our equation. So let's take the first ordered pair, 0 and 2. So let's substitute this y with the number 2. And next we are going to substitute x with 0. And now we can figure out what the b value is going to be. So now we have 2 equals 1 half times 0, which is 0. So all we have remaining on the right-hand side of our equation is the letter b. Therefore, b is equal to positive 2. So when forming our equation, we write y equals whatever the m value is. In this case, it was 1 half times x. And because the b value is positive, we write plus 2. So this is the equation that represents the relationship between the x and y variables in the shown function table. 